what's going on, toxic gamers? What a time to be alive, am I right? We gotta talk about this piece of junk immediately, okay? Like the video if you think there are two genders. Dislike the video if you think there are 5,000 genders. <laughs> because, you see, this is what's going on in gaming. These things are absolutely crazy. We got the Concord situation. We got the Ubicraft situation. Ubisoft situation. They once said that gamers should feel real comfortable not owning their games, right? I guess they should be the ones they should now feel real comfortable losing money right and if they keep on going in this direction i guess they are gonna be the ones to say that oh, we're gonna be owning nothing and be happy ladies and gentlemen and you're not gonna believe this apparently this is what's going on so playstation is now deleting concord from players consoles yeah this is what's going on guys in other words you know playstation actually announced that they're gonna be shutting down concord right they're gonna shut down concord i guess it's safe to say that concord pronouns are was and were <laughs> right tax and ride off but this these tickets are so crazy because there have been some people right that chose uh, that are choosing to not delete Concord. They bought the game, right? They perhaps enjoyed the game to a certain degree, right? They still had Concord installed on their PlayStation, right? PlayStation is like, no, nope, you need to delete it immediately. You need to delete it immediately. In fact, they went an extra step and now they're actually getting inside people's console to delete it. Make that make sense. I don't even get it, man. I don't even get it. Uh, of course, uh, I don't think they're gonna go that crazy on PC if you have that installed on PC. And if they were to <laughs> hop on your PC, get access. Okay, first of all, they're not gonna get access to your PC unless you give 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 them access, right? But but imagine this, right? If they were to do something like that to a PC gamer, oh man, that would have started WW5. But uh oh, I want to get into this story here. Shout out to the homie, Doctor Disaster. Roll this. I have to say, it has been heartwarming and gratifying to watch Ubisoft fail so hard Holy this year. They have gone damn. well out of their way to shit on gamers, and now it's coming back to bite them. Yeah, I notice how you come across somebody once in a while that you shouldn't have with. That's me. They, they, they went so crazy at their own people, I'm talking about gamers, that now they are the one. Ubisoft wants you to be comfortable not owning your game. <laughs> Oh man, they should get real comfortable losing money and they are gonna be the ones uh, first of all I need to credit the person. Okay, I saw the Neil the homie Neil the homie Neil says that in fact If this keeps up, they will be the ones to own nothing and be happy Shout out to you guys man. Shout out to all of you guys out there, bruh I also need to shout out the homies uh, Pawn, Brian for following over on Instagram. If you guys do have Instagram, I would definitely love to have you there. All right, let's get to the content. The links are in description and in the pinned comment, all right? I would love to have you there, boo-boo. All right, roll it. Told us to be comfortable not owning our games. They took the crew servers down so that people who paid for that game can no longer play it, and they promised to do that to more of their old titles. They keep releasing buggy games and games that are filled with controversial shit. And for all of these reasons and more, investors are bailing on this company. Salute to the Captain BBC! <laughs> You gotta salute the captain BBC there, man. It's not about money. It's about sending a message. Oh, hell no, I'm out of here. Well, Ubisoft is making a move now that absolutely reeks of desperation. The stock prices for the company just crashed again, falling Dang. another 3% yesterday. Seemingly, in response, they announced... <laughs> It's falling on a daily basis, man. These suckers like, crazy. At one point, they were sitting at like 100 on average of like 80, 80, 70 euros. And now it's like 3, 4 euros in USD, like $2. $2. I believe it's, yeah, it's crazy. On Twitter, that the Crew 2 crazy. and the Crew Motorfest will have offline modes added soon. This is huge news as a complete 180 on the previously stated policy. Likely, the most anti-consumer game company in the industry is capitulating to gamers. Our pushback is making a difference. <laughs> yeah, I love the homie, man. Shout out to the homie, Dr. Disaster. But we gotta skip the dancing here, man. Roll the bad news for Ubisoft this year. Uh -oh. Skull and Bones and Star Wars Outlaws have flopped big time. Telling mm -hmm. customers to get comfortable not owning their games went over like a Rosie O'Donnell OnlyFans. And yanking the servers for the crew initiated a massive European petition that is threatening to change the way that Ubisoft does business in the future. The failure of Star Wars Outlaws was the straw that broke the camel's back. And actually, I don't want to undersell it here. I shouldn't call it a straw that broke the camel's back. Let me explain it like this. That poor camel was so overburdened that even a straw would have knocked the poor fella down. But then along came Star Wars Outlaws with all the weight of a Mack truck and it smushed the poor little dude. And now <laughs> Now, with investors calling on management to step down and be what? replaced in the company, and the stock price crashing hard. Uh, hey, 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 tranquilo. With tranquilo, investors calling. 
Papi Chill, Ubisoft shares slump after investor urges Assassin's Creed maker to go private. Damn, when your own shareholders are like, hey man, take Ubisoft private, man. Shut it down. <laughs> Shut it down immediately. Shut it down. It's Joe over, bro. It's over. When your own stockholders are like, man, deal. it feels like that they are saying delist, although they are not saying delist your stock, but that's how it feels like. They're, they're saying just privatize your company, right? Ubisoft is a publicly traded company, right? Now they're saying just privatize it. Damn, man. They're saying that go private, brothers. Go underground is what they're saying. They're saying lay low, brothers. Lay low. On management to step down and be replaced in the company and the stock price crashing hard, this move with the Crew 2 and the Crew Motorfest is clearly meant to be an olive branch and a distraction from all the bad news. Of course, the funny part is that 90% of their problems are self-inflicted as a result of their insatiable greed and anti-consumer practices. I mean, whenever they release a game, they basically punish early purchasers by making them pay to be beta testers because yeah. they are so buggy. That should tell you everything you need to know about how much this company respects gamers. Not at yeah. all. But this is the tweet that the company released attempting to prove that they're on our side they said we heard your concerns about access to the crew games today we want to express our commitment to the future of the crew 2 and the crew motor fest we can confirm an offline mode to ensure long-term access to both titles stay tuned for more news in the next months the most important thing to note about this announcement is the timing every day the stock price plummets further down and it is fair to if this confirms one thing and if this proves one thing it's that gamers can come together as one <laughs> And, and if gamers unite, this is what we get. This is the company, mind you, this is that company that said that you should f be comfortable not owning games. In other words, they were like, hey, you know, you're gonna own nothing and be happy, subscription based only, online only, 24 7 internet only, and they can shut down the game whenever they want. No matter how much money you feed them based off like their subscription service by buying that bull squash, right? They're like, hey man, be happy, man. Be happy not owning anything. Gamers come together, <laughs> stop buying their game, and now they do this. They pull an offline mode. Yeah, shout out to everybody who's watching this video, man. Shout out to you guys. Shout out to all, all the gamers out there, man. Because gamers are learning, and uh, gamers are. Uh, yeah, man, good shit, brothers. Good shit, man. Suppose that if this wasn't the case, if there wasn't a very public call to have company management replaced, then they wouldn't have done this. The question to ask is why now? And the mm -hmm. answer is simple. This is being done out of desperation and panic. If things Facts. were hunky-dory with Ubisoft, the company would be never. perfectly content wiping out all the content that you had purchased before and forcing you to subscribe to Ubisoft Plus in order to play games you already owned at one point. But they are hoping that this will distract people and stem the bleeding. And to be fair, it might actually work. The stock price might stop dropping for a bit. Who knows? What I do know for sure, though, is that this adds some weight behind our tactics. We must keep pushing back against these soulless corporate machines, and Absolutely. eventually they do have to live. Even this game feels so soulless, bro. Like, damn, it feels like we had, we had, indeed, we had better games during the PS3 and Xbox 360 lifecycle, man. Sheesh, man. And normally I say that graphics have uh, been better, and yeah, the, for a lot of games they have been better than PS3. Oh, absolutely, right? Credit where it's due. I'm trying to spit facts here. But look at this game, man. Damn, bro. I would say, like, the graphics are realistically m more like PS3. If PS3 had PS3 Pro, it did not. But but you know what I mean, right? Like, it feels like that we, we've seen better games on PS3, graphically even. Listen, I know that there are a lot of folks out there who have no hope and believe that these companies will just be bailed out, but if that were true, then Ubisoft would not be making this move. They didn't want to do it. Just earlier this year, they told us to be comfortable not owning our games. Mm. But at the end of the day, their resources are not infinite. Gamers scored a big win here, but I'm going to leave it there. Drop your mockery of Ubisoft. I want to the... show you guys this, so get ready, man. We got to talk about the, the PlayStation <laughs> biggest... <laughs> This is insane, man. This is the reason. This is the reason these things are looking to charge 700 USD or 1200 Canadian with taxes. And if you want to buy like the disk drive and the PS5 Pro, all of them combined, I kid you not, it's going to come closer to $1,200. Oh, Without the disk drive, it's going to be around 1100 all right? That's, I'm not even kidding. 700 USD is 950 Canadian, 950 Canadian, 15% taxes. I mean, it depends where you add, but generally... 13% to 15% is uh, the range between the, the, the taxes, right? That's how much it's getting. Shout out to the homie RSA for subscribing. Welcome on in, brother. Welcome on in, man. It be like that, man. These seconds crazy. These seconds crazy. They are literally doing that to, uh, <laughs> to make the lost revenue from Concord. But I, let's actually talk about Concord. 
the game that had pronouns of was and were it's was and were no ah concord it's like the red-headed stepchild of the video game industry everyone loves getting their lumps in and making fun of it because it's just so damn easy to do what's going on guys welcome to another episode of smash jt and apparently the latest blow to concord is sony has proactively started to delete the game from people's consoles people that purchased the game and yes, Sony is issuing refunds and being proactive yeah. about that. But now they are going to the next level and removing the game without you being able to stop them. But now they are going to the next level and removing the Thank you for being a valued PlayStation customer. Live service, live services for Concord went offline on September the 6th, 2024. The game is not playable, and as a result, we have removed this content from your account. Okay. The game okay. without you being able to stop them. Ah, oh, come on. Don't you just love the future of gaming? Smash! Love it, love it. Hit that subscribe, give me a like, and check out SmashJT.com for the full article breaking down how Concord just can't seem to find a way to go and die quietly. It always has something happening yeah. that has people like... But honestly, bro, like something is always happening in gaming. It, and, and damn, back in the days, it was good news after good news. Now it's like, bro... PS5 Pro, right? Like, damn. <laughs> the price of PS5. Star Wars. Ubisoft. Right? The Captain BBC. Uh, that situation still raging wildfires right now. The Concord 2. Point, and this is this game is called Fair Fairbanks or Fair Game. Some bull squash like that, right? Not fair at all, but okay, whatever. That's the name of the game, right? So the people are calling that Concord 2.0. Something is going on every single day or every, let's just put it this way, right? Like every week. Holy crap, here's the latest thing that is unprecedented in the video game industry. And yes, I'm sure it's happened before. In fact, I think Xbox accidentally like had sales on games and, and took those games off of people's consoles. So it's, it's not the first time I've seen it happen, but it's very rare. And it always gives me yeah. that uneasy feeling knowing that these gigantic corporations can technically, legally go into your console and take a game off the hard drive without you approving it. I'm not a big fan of that. In an unprecedented move, and man, I feel like I'm saying that a lot when it comes to Concord, Sony has begun manually removing the digital- Literally, this was PlayStation reaction to people that still had Concord installed on their PlayStation. This is how Sony felt. So they're like, okay, let me go, let me hop on your console and delete that real quick because that is garbage. It belongs in the garbage. So let me go ahead and throw it in the garbage on your behalf. Don't worry, don't worry. You don't want to delete the game. Got you, man. We got you. We're not gonna let you burn any calories. ...versions of Concord from players' PlayStation 5 consoles connected to the internet. This move somehow marks a new low for the troubled history of the hero shooter, raising lots of questions about the game's future and whether it will ever see the light of day again. In game's future, he said. <laughs> Okay, yeah, there are rumors that it might go free to play, so that could be the future. For those of you that might have already forgotten, I don't know, it's, it's a lot of news and things are coming and going pretty quick, but when Concord was taken offline less than two weeks after launch, Sony made the announcements that it was going back for some retooling and hopes to relaunch again someday in the future. But doing stuff like this makes me feel like Sony is looking internally and just being like, I think we got a tax break coming to us because we can't ever release this game again. <laughs> Released with literally zero fanfare from the masses, Concord quickly turned into a financial disaster for Sony, amassing what some have estimated upwards of $250 million or more what? lost over the course of the last eight oh, years shit. of development, including marketing, everything else going into this game. That's a big chunk of change to just swallow and move on. Like, yeah, I get it. You're Sony. You have billions. No, there is no way it was. Because we heard minimum it's 100 million. It's like anywhere between 100 million US dollars to 200. I think he's exaggerating. He's like saucing it up. Or maybe not. Maybe it was really 250 million USD. Damn, man, damn. This thing is crazy. Uh, but what we know is that minimum it has to be 100 million US dollars that Sony wasted on making this game. And, and yeah, it was turned out to be a piece of trash, right? Like, nobody likes it. Like, yeah, it was just a cash grab, essentially. And these things spent eight years making that game. Damn, man, that these things is crazy. And initially, people thought that it might go free to play, but I don't know about that one. Uh, PlayStation deleting that game from people that bought the game? Mm, that doesn't sound good, right? Or perhaps it's to do with the licensing licensing thing because every time you purchase a game, you also download and install the the key activation, the game's license, right? You, you, you know what I mean, right? Like you download that and that's like a little, like hundred kilobytes. Perhaps like now it's bigger than that because you know games are improving, guys. Games are improving. I mean, 
Suck my brown BBC. <laughs> games are not improving, man. Games are not improving, bro. Like, this is... We're evolving, but backwards right now. So maybe they're deleting it because of that. So they're trying to get rid of all the licensing and the the, the activations for video games or some bull squash like that. And later on, they're just going to go fully free to play and it's going to be relaunching as free to play and anybody can download. Maybe they're going to do that. Maybe they're going to test it or maybe they're like, hey, let's not even test that, bruh. Like because their reputation is ruining. Uh, they are, this game has ruined PlayStation reputation big time. And the fact that they do this right after Damn, these suckers crazy, bruh. Millions of dollars to your name, but 250 plus million dollars is a lot of money. The game servers were shut down just over a week after launch and full refunds for every purchase was issued to players. While the server closures are not uncommon for live service games, the complete removal of Concord from players' consoles takes the situation to an entirely new level. And like I referenced earlier, how Sony talked about how they're going back to the drawing board and retooling this and hopefully relaunching it someday in the future. Well, it doesn't look like that's going to be happening. The more information that I get from this and what I'm seeing, it feels like every Thing but that yeah. and then I go over to LinkedIn to see what's going on at Firewalk Studios and there's a lot of people going into work every day there right now oh, and you gotta wonder what are they doing and what's their mindset to be going into a company where you are the laughing stock of the video game industry and somebody said that in the comments like if I was working in their studio if I were you I wouldn't even put that on my resume damn Firewalk like don't don't put that on your resume you know what I'm saying? Like, that's what people are saying. And I think they have a point. Everybody who's anybody was telling you whatever you were doing along the way, gamers don't like it. We don't want this. You're injecting stuff we don't want in a game. And, and to be fair, though, maybe some of these devs were... Uh, uh, yeah, most of... I'm assuming, like, the, the higher-ups are to be blamed. Some of the devs are, of course, to be blamed as well. But I'm assuming some of the devs were just there to work, do, like, the tasks do what they're told to right oh yeah you want to make uh you want to make uh the game like uh this way okay go for it and they're designing the game that way right perhaps there were just uh, some uh uh there there were some devs that were just trying to just do their job right but i don't know man this is just feeling bad bro like i, I wouldn't be shocked if like they fully shut down the studio in the coming days weeks or months right it will not be successful and you stuck your fingers in your ears locked out all the noise and move forward anyways with it how many deaths and here's the result and it's really hard to feel bad for any of the situation because at the end of the yeah. day it was completely avoidable if you were among the dozens of folks who purchased the digital version of concord you will be greeted with a notification on your playstation 5 home screen that reads thank you for being a valued playstation customer live service for concord went offline on september 9th 2024 the game is not playable and as a result we have removed this content from your account so not only is the game unplayable and you can't progress past the start screen because it's a live service game but now even if you wanted to keep it there to be able to show your friends or, yeah. point and laugh, or even be like a digital collector yeah like a trophy right like oh wow like i've been there you know i was there guys i was there you know 2050 roll uh, runs around maybe you got grandkids just something to show to your grandkids right like look at that guys like you know back in 2024 back in 2024 there was a game called concord that came out and i bought it i loved it but these like i shut it down but i still kept it on my playstation i guess they wanted to do that but too bad man sony just went in your console and deleted i guess if you bought it on pc you can keep it as a trophy right yeah maybe maybe i don't know how that works on steam personally but uh it's gone. Deleted games. You can't. They took it from you. So I guess. Uh, shout out to the homie for subscribing. Welcome, honey. Gang, gang, brother. Gang, gang. Yes, it's part of like the what you sign up for when you log on to the PlayStation account. You create all this stuff. One of those yeah. things is Sony can just do what they want with your account at any time, even without your authorization. Adding to all this confusion is the fact that Amazon's upcoming secret level anthology series still plans to feature one episode based on Concord. That one episode that was supposed <laughs> to help promote and market this failed game is still going to move forward and happen. And I can't help but think when that day happens, it's just going to like stir the shit barrel up again. What? All the scum on the bottom of that barrel is going to be swirling around up top again. And people are going to start talking about Concord and what a piece of crap it is all over again. There's nothing this game can... This gotta be lies. These gotta be lies. I'm, sh I'm sure it's not, but I'm just saying as like, yeah, like, bruh, 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 bruh. But here's the thing though, they must have planned that before they were like, wow, this game is going to be amazing. This game is going to sell like hotcakes, man. Gamers gonna love it. It's gonna be the best game on the planet Earth, right? And therefore, we gotta make like a special Netflix special, or I should say Amazon special, 
let's actually dedicate one season to it or one episode to it or whatever or what's whatever the case is right damn man and now we're finding out that the game is shutting down man like damn man like that is crazy bro can do to change the mentality of the gamers short of firing gamers. the entire development team bringing in an entirely new development team redesigning the characters from the ground up into something that's a little bit more pleasing to the eyes might have a chance but honestly it Okay, okay. At this point, then it would feel like they're just pandering to people because you didn't listen the first time around, and it's almost like it's a lost cause. And you pair that with the fact that Sony already has another Concord 2.0 game coming out called Fair yeah. Games, if it that, ever yeah, does come out. I mean, all we have is one trailer from that from like a year ago, and then... And, and this was also in development before the Concord disaster. I'm sure, like, they must be panicking too, right? Yeah, so what's gonna happen when this game comes out? If this one is free, it's probably gonna, have, for sure, gonna have more players than Concord, but... Is it gonna have more than just uh, Concord when Concord went free? I believe when Concord was initially free, it was 12, 1,200 players, right? Yeah, the first week of beta, on, at least on Steam, when it was pre-order only, closed beta, 2,400. Then somewhere around like 1,100, 1,200 when they did open the beta for everybody. It's wild that when they opened for everybody for free, it did poorly in comparison to people that bought the game at least or closed beta with uh, either uh, either people that was for people that bought it and also uh that were given codes uh, for the beta right it, it's wild it, it really is wild it's gonna be wild to see how much this do no updates from the wise. studios ever since that you have to wonder there's a lot of conversations that are going on at sony Behind and the their scenes. underlying yeah. studios underneath with all this trouble coming from concord right now and 100%. here's the thing i was on hypnotics live stream the other day and we were talking about how concord's gonna relaunch and when we thought it would and he was like oh maybe sometime mid 2025 and i'm like oh no i think it's gonna be sooner than that i would bet that they could even bring it back holiday 2024 and redesign a few new characters yeah like give a christmas gift to the the playstation homies yeah Characters make it free to play and just try to cash in on a holiday rush for yeah, it. Yeah, but no, yeah. after seeing this happen and seeing Sony go into people's consoles and proactively delete it, remove it, and take it away from people without their authorization, it tells me that it is a very dire situation at Sony with Concord, and yeah. they know the public sentiment. With it is over, guys. Check out this video on the screen. This recently just happened, and I'm not sure if you guys saw this or not. If you already seen it, then we got huge drama on the left. Check out both of these videos, guys, and I'll see you right there. Stud muffin out.